even without being here proactively, it could be a Wi-Fi fiend or just somebody who's really sh smart at the way the game plays. We saw it out of that 2v1 that he had against Escalator and Cable Lob earlier. Let's see if he can replicate that same success in this one. Oh, big opening for Tilde at the start, the landing there into up tilts, but Jewel actually going to pop out. Meanwhile, the Greninja's duking it out on the other side, and it looks like MGW getting the better of these early exchanges. Yeah, I think a big difference between these two sets so far, or, or at least th throughout the set, is going to be how well can Red Team consistently get those team combos, and how well can they outplay the, the single player strength of Venya and Tilde. Right, yeah, just because two players might individually be slightly stronger than the others doesn't mean that it's going to play out that way in teams, right? The whole can be greater than the sum of its parts, and that's one of my favorite things about this format. Yeah, it really just kind of shows the intelligence level people have, kind of like Venya right there throwing out that forward smash to take out that stock. Oh, MGW unable to tech right there. Is he going to reach? Yes, and Jewel holding, I think he was holding Venya, but I'm not sure. He was holding one of the green team members hostage right there just to make sure that nobody was able to interrupt yeah, that Venue, Hydro Pump. Venue was standing right in the way uh, at first, and then Jewel went there immediately to go cover his teammate to allow him to get back. All right. Even stocks here, but percents looking good. Uh, well, until I know Sparatu <laughs> in favor of the green team. Mm -hmm. And while we may not be seeing as many team combos, we're seeing some very intelligent defense out of the green team. Uh, you know, anytime that Venya or Tilde have been in disadvantage, they, they have run right over to go get them out. They don't usually overcommit. And Tilde doing a good job of making sure that Jewel couldn't do anything about saving his teammate, also almost losing a stock too. Yeah, I'm surprised MGW actually went down there. He used Shadow Sneak to try to get some horizontal recovery, but didn't work out for him. And Jewel already down to the last stock. All right, going to get the quick revenge kill. Yeah, finally, the first point going on the board off of uh, Tilde's stocks there. But Red Team, we've seen them make some solid comebacks so far. Again, their, their kill potential very strong. And usually, you don't really see Jewel picking it up until you see the B-reverse cancels going all over the place. But Venya just preventing all that right now, just keeping him right at the ledge. Yeah, Jewel looking like he's barely getting to play in this match. Well, the arc fire ladder? Okay, I haven't seen that before, but that was super clean. Yeah, if it was singles, he definitely would have committed to going up there to get that up air, but you saw Venya waiting for it. Like, go ahead, go jump after him. I'm going to destroy you, but he stayed grounded in instead. Wow, MGW just quickly jabbing Jewel. Realized, wait a minute, that's my boy. I'm not going to keep mm -hmm. pressing the A button here. Yeah, you say, I mean, sometimes people fall asleep on that. It's like, oh, wait, hold up. That was my teammate. Yeah, you just see somebody, you want to hit him. Oh, all right. Big lead at this point. Well, not too big, but of yeah, course, not too being bad. up two full stocks. Their kill potential from Red Team can definitely seal some stocks pretty fast. And there's one going off of Tilde. If they could get this off on Venya 2, they'd be in a much more comfortable position. Oh, all those multi-hits right there on Jewel, taking so much damage. Not the end of the world for him. Wow! What is going on, man, with these B-reverses and this tricky movement sure. from Robin, a character that everyone really perceives to be pretty stationary and slow. And that's the thing that Jewel does so well. He, re he makes people realize that this character has the ability to get around pretty well and also being able to do those cancels into those strong aerials, very difficult to deal with. But you gotta be very, very careful because you see Venya just lurking, waiting to try and close that stock out. He knows both of them are kill percent. All right, Jewel barely clinging to life. This Elwin about to run out too. He's super careful off the stage. And I feel like Tilde has a huge target on his back right now. If they're able to close the stock out because of this high percent, then they just have to win a 2v1 against Venia. And at that point, the damage values don't matter too much. Yeah, you see uh, you see MGW hunting so oh, far. Oh, that's it, oh, yes. Oh, he gets the other end of that air dodge there. There you go, good closeout. But Venia is so good at 2v1 situation. He barely holds shield, stays on the move. But this is very, very difficult to deal with. He had no, did he not have any more arc fires there? I'm not sure, possibly not. But very reminiscent of his character. This man is slippery as hell. It's very hard to pin him down, even with this kind of percent lead. Oh, throw two arc fires at his teammate. And I think it might be a mistake to have MGW in the front, right? If you're, mm -hmm. I mean, of course your assessment's correct that they know each other's playstyles very well, right? And if Venya feels confident with taking on the onslaught from MGW, mm -hmm. he could just take him out and then win the 1v1 against Jewel at a really high percent. Yep. Either way, teamwork gonna prevail right there. The static combination. And yeah, very similar to seeing, like, uh, if you see, like, um, the team serving a Don up to a Light. Those two play each other all the time, but obviously Light's going to know what to look for. Instead, put Jewel out in front, who has had some recent, uh, like, strong play against Venya, and then just, consist just consistently conditioning him to try and jump at the ledge, catching him with that fair, very good breakdown. And we saw that they had a decent deficit at one point. They ran it back. 
That was a really impressive comeback from Jewel and MGW, I gotta say. Mm -hmm. What's that about NY hating dubs, Devin? Keep dubs gone from our weeklies. <laughs> yeah, see, at a weekly, you know, as a TO especially, you don't want to be dealing with that. It uh, takes a lot of time. To end before to, midnight. Yeah, we, we like to go home, you know, not at 3 o'clock in the morning. People don't want to show up at 5 p.m. Oh, gee, I wonder why. Hey, mm -hmm. good thing the subway runs all night, right? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Sometimes it don't feel that way. Yeah, no, it does not. <laughs> Shout out to the MTA. Psych. All right, Tilda and Venia playing on the back foot right now. It's pretty surprising. Of course, they're definitely favored to win. If you went to Smash G and click projected, you would mm -hmm. see them advancing over Joel and MGW most likely. Yeah, but I, it doesn't mean it's always going to shake out that way. I think a big part of that is just uh, the fact that uh, Joel and MGW, they've been traveling a lot more recently, thankfully, to finally see. But they just didn't really go to as many places. And you see the strength of what Venya does over here in HL3K. Definitely would get the, uh, the bump up on seating there. But... I don't think we're going to be seeing another like body bag of a match. This is going to be extremely close for both teams. Yeah, I mean, last match was super tight, but right now we've got an amazing opening by the red team. Jewel and MGW popping off super hard. They're basically untouched, especially MGW sitting at a cool 20%. Meanwhile, Venia, the, the teacher, right? Yeah, I'm actually interested in the counter pick here because this is something that we saw Jewel and uh, MGW go to earlier for their own counter pick. And it was actually the, the green team who decided to come here. So I'm not sure if it has to do with the uh, greater survivability on the, the, you know, the blast zones from the sides or just wanting to be able to camp the walls. But pretty interested to be why they would pick the stage over the fact the red team wanted to be here. But Venya's going to go down on that stock at the bottom there. Yeah, MGW just slipping off, going for a crazy back air. Actually managed to work out. Ooh, Shadow Sneak through the Shuriken, but Venya's still going to cover that. Let's see, though. I mean, if they win the set, will the student become the teacher? Oh, when Venya hears this later on, he's going to come at you for that one. Yeah, he's going to be tight. Yeah. But, I mean, of course, sometimes you got to got to drop a set to your, your protege, man. It it's always nice to see. You see the improvement coming from the players who have just been working so hard. And the red team, such a solid, uh, unique, static team that we're seeing out of this tournament so far. Yeah, but, Robin and Greninja, man. Who would have known? Yeah, who would have thought that would actually be something that would work out so well. But right now, the... The ledge trap attempt from Venya was working, but Jules going to get himself by and get out of that situation there. Decent damage being put on Venya as well. You see MGW being buried in the corner, but still holding his own. Hasn't lost that stock yet. Jules stuck on the platform with no Levin Sword. Oh, no, okay. He just, for some reason, was getting Bronze Sword hits. But, man, MGW, look at the tankiness on this man. Finally dropping his first stock two minutes deep into this match. Down to up smash, yep. A lot of damage, even though it's not going to pick up the KO yet. And Jewel getting a little bit of health oh. back himself. Oh, and Venya going down yet again. I don't know if he's going for some walkling attempts to be able to, to recover, but after that stock loss, that puts him down at one until they, you know, at two. Relatively even still with a very, very strong um, life lead that they have on them, but the fact is the red team has just been doing so well at closing out these stocks compared to the green team in the second game. Well, the up tilt back up. Man, MGW respawn, and in 30 seconds, all of a sudden finds himself at 100%. This could be the huge swing that the green team needed. Wow, up smash from Robin, not killing. Carlos with, of course, very large boundaries. Mm -hmm. I think, yeah, it seems like Venya is trying to clean up his defense a little bit, too. Finally getting hit right there, but uh, since that stock loss, he's only taken about, well, there we are, 52% now, but he's been doing a much better job of holding his ground and not really getting mixed into a lot of these bad situations. All right, Greninja's duking it out separately. Nope. I'm gonna see them switch targets. Looks like MGW and Venya don't want to fight each other, but sometimes it feels like they really yeah. have beef and they want to fight each other. <laughs> Obviously, they're very close friends, but still, you know. I think they both understand, you know, the fact that either one of them can get Vortex so easy. Getting caught by one of those down tilts or dash attacks is gonna put them in a bad spot, and their teammates gonna be able to close it out. They don't want to have that come up. Oh, I like the shine there from Falco, sending the arc fire back really nowhere, yeah, but at least it kept him safe. Oh, there goes Venya. He's going to take the stock. And no, the forward throw not enough to close Falco out. I think a little bit of that having to do with that wide blast zone from Kahlo. So actually, the counter pick ended up working out for him. In the end, can he keep it this stock alive as long as possible? Until they down to his last breath. Greninja only with one kill throw, really, I think. Up throw is... He has four throw and up throw. Oh, okay, so yep. two. Yeah, but now at this 175 range, that's when it's going to start working for him. Oh, misses the edge. Yeah, meanwhile, you have to worry about whether, if you're Jewel as well. You know, you got that, that high percent on Tilde who's just holding on and still finally going down there. 
All right, Venia all by himself right now. I would definitely take the front if I were MGW. Ooh, so sneaky. Yeah, we might be seeing that out of MGW as well. He used that earlier to close out the last stock on Samsora. Is that gonna be it right there? Oh, only gets the left, the very edge of that hit on the up smash. Yeah, I think if he went for forward smash or back hit of down smash, that would have been it. All right, MGW needs to be the meat shield right now. He's got so much lower percent, mm -hmm. he can afford to take these hits. Whereas Jewel, if he gets opened up once, that could be everything. All right, 1v1, student v teacher. Yeah, gets the parry in the up smash where he needed it most. Now we're at pretty much a dead even game here. MGW, if he could get a confirm on down tilt to fair, that'll be it. Instead, he's going to get the other side and get the pop off from MGW and Jewel. Pretty close match. You see Fenya <laughs> talking that good game, but you know, he was actually very happy for them as well. Very tight set. Yeah, you got to be happy, right? When someone that you take under your, your wing as a player, right? You help them study, help them improve, and they actually get good enough to pull a set off you. That's a good feeling, man. But wow, that parried up smash was so clean. And then MGW played really solidly at the end, right? This was definitely a position from which Venia could come back, but the B reverse to fade away, mm -hmm. catches him over committing with back air, punish that landing lag with fair. Really clean stuff from MGW, clearly learning a lot. But I mean, this guy's been solid forever, right? Even before Venia was in the scene, MGW was out here, a pretty good player. Um, and then Venia just exploded, right? Yeah. And hey, man, your character looks kind of cool. I want to learn him. That was